TGR News, broadcasting from the State of Israel. Welcome back to TGR News. Shalom from Israel. Well, we had another week of uh, being able to put out food to the people who are hungry here. It was great. It was wonderful to be able to do. It's a lot because of you guys. We know it's because of your support and more is coming. So thank you very much. Uh, I think, you know, when people start off doing something like this, you don't know how long it's going to last. But uh, these people are finding out Joel's there is right on time, once every week. Every week, same day, same, same time. Same time, same, yep. same channel. Exactly, absolutely. Well, you know what I'm going to say. A oh, lot's happened. A lot? A lot's happened. Where? Here. In this country? In this country. I thought we were the Holy Land. Everything was okay here. Well, it, I'm sure it will be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, I'll tell you something interesting, though. You know, the, the big, uh, the, all the millions are, of dollars that Qatar is giving to uh, Gaza, basically to Hamas, they finally came to an agreement that it's going to come in on the 1st of September. But you, what the funny thing was, what was holding it up wasn't Israel. Israel said, like usual, we let the Hamas have their money. But what was holding it up, it was the UN was uh, talking about how much they're going to, from the money they're going to tax and take, and how they're going to take it from them before they give it to them. Yeah. <laughs> well, as everything seems to be coming to a head, everything seems, if you, whether you're looking at it politically or economically or ecologically. Yeah, everything, yeah. Er everything's coming to a head. It's amazing how this is going on. Right now, Bennett's in, in America. Yep. Uh, wants to uh, make some kind of uh, understanding with Biden because slowly, slowly for the past, what, two months yep. since May, uh, he's been building up the IDF along the Gaza border. Yeah, he has. And now it's being in the newspapers, uh, headlines in, all the, in the newspapers here in Israel that uh, Bennett wants to, 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 to take, get, care of Hamas. take care of that. Now, he's done that for two different reasons. One is... Uh, uh, he's done it because of the people along the border. He promised them he would do something, but he's already broken nearly every other promise. Yeah, he has. So, especially bringing Rom into the government. But the thing, about, the whole thing with uh, him is, it's it's really amazing now. Everything is being tried to be okay, but through through America. Yeah, that's Mer yeah. Merkel just canceled her trip here to Israel. So uh, all these politicians start canceling their trips and going home and hide. Uh, Something's usually getting ready to happen. It's like you usually pull your ambassador out of a country before you, before you attack it. Before you attack it, right? Uh, so we're seeing a lot of things like that happen. Yeah, yeah. The, uh, the Bennett trip to America, to Biden, a lot of people haven't really put two and two together, like you're saying. It was just a month ago we talked about how Bennett signed over where he has to get an okay from uh, Biden to do anything now for, for our security against Iran. And so now he's going to get permission from daddy, basically. I need to you know, save my country, can I please? Right? Yeah, he's going to the wrong daddy. Yeah. yeah he's get, definitely going to the wrong daddy. I know one we call Hashem, that's the name, and, uh, and his name, we call him God. It's, God is just a title, but we know who we're talking. You know, yeah. the Jews don't like to say the name of God. You know that, don't you? Yeah. Well, uh, it, it's just a problem. Uh, they don't like to say it outside of the, of the synagogue. Yeah. Uh, but uh, the, the name is Elohim, and uh, it's, he's, the, he's the God that we're worried about right now. And he's not happy with what's happening in the world. And uh, the more I look around the world, I can't believe it. I just got a video of all the things that's happened in the last few uh, months, yeah. weather-wise, around the world. Oh, it's crazy. It's impossible. It's, it's an impossible thing. It, uh, no, yeah, go ahead. Absolutely. I'm getting off subject. <laughs> yeah, Yair Lapid, you know, our next uh, prime minister, uh, the, the one that's doing with Bennett, he was asked on TV, is the reason why they're not really doing anything yet to, uh, to, um, to Hamas by firing back from all the missiles and everything else they've been doing is because Mansour Abbas, you know, the terrorist activist in our, in our coalition now, uh, won't, let him do, won't let them do anything. I thought that was an interesting question. He didn't really answer it. I just thought it was interesting to put that out there. Well, but yeah, that's the that's the problem when you have a, a narrow co coalition. Three sixty one, <laughs> Rom is Rom is one. Yeah. And the, the Arab uh, the, the Muslims in our Knesset. It's unbelievable. So all they got to do is just say we're finished with you, and that's it. The, the whole gov government falls. We're back to elections. Yeah. So, you know, I can tell you. On a personal note, in the Army, I've, I do a, 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 
uh, your reserves and stuff all the time. Um, ever since this new uh, coalition with with Mansour Abbas, the Arabs that are in it, you know, as a, as a military guy, you know who your boss is. The boss is the government, right? They tell you what to do. And there's been a change in feeling once we realize that our boss is now an Arab. You know? <laughs> I mean, it, it makes a difference. We, you can feel it in the army. You really can. But uh, this, uh, this week also, hundreds of Hamas activists were attacking IDF soldiers on the border of, Ham of uh, Gaza. And even one ran up to uh, real close and shot one of our IDF soldiers in the head. And, uh, uh, and uh, of course, we haven't done anything about it. No. no and, uh, and with, Bi with uh, Bennett and kissing the boots of uh, Biden in the White House, it's, uh, uh. it's a bad situation. You know, I've been reading a lot of commentaries, too, on the news, talking about uh, Israel's going to have to do something before the next, they, now they're saying two months. Now they say with two months, the Iran will have the nuclear bomb. Wow. And, uh, and Israel knows once they have the bomb, then it's there's not late. a whole lot you can do about it. There's a point where that's, and that's the point where it's just too late. Yeah, so, so all of a sudden, Merkel and uh, Biden and, every, and, and everyone's traveling all over the place trying to figure out what's getting ready to happen. Uh, a lot of, and we got these, we got a tremendous amount of IDF troops uh, built up on the Gaza border. Yep. And uh, I, I, Joe and I were talking, we were talking a little earlier, and it's my thought on it that uh, it is possible for our IDF to take out Hamas, even if Iran is waiting for, for the IDF to get a little bit weak, because the IDF soldiers are not be going, on, not, not, not going to be going into Iran. Yeah, there's not. Yeah. It's going to be missiles and bombs and airplanes, right? Exactly. So uh, it could be uh, they, those two fronts could be handled if uh, now Hushbullah, Hisbollah is another yeah. problem yeah. in the north, yeah. but that's Iran too. But that's their little ace in the hole, you know. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's it's dangerous. We're living in very dangerous times, yeah. and, and besides being locked down, you know. Yeah. The uh, well, this uh, past week, like we're talking about all the things that's happened in Hamas and in Gaza, uh, the had missiles and uh, they shot one of our soldiers and everything. Bennett's answer to that so far. We don't know what's planned, but so far, Bennett's answer to that was to blow up an empty storage building and still let the money from Qatar go in to, to support the Hamas uh, you know, movement. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I know that, uh, that we want to blame, we're jumping on bit, Bennett for any little thing, but you know, every, all the prime ministers before him done the same thing. They come over here and kill our civilians, they, they shell our civilians, and then we go put a little bomb on the top of a building to make them all get out. Then when they all get out, then we destroy the building. Yeah. Uh, we're, not, we're doing everything we can to, to, to have no collateral damage, right? And yeah. They're doing everything they can to kill our citizens. Uh, all civilian. Right, absolutely. It's a, it's a sad state of affairs. Yeah. Very sad state of affairs. It is, it is. Well, it, the IDF spokesperson, this is, I've never seen this happen before. They made a public statement to the prime minister, right? This, usually I don't have things like that happen here in Israel. And uh, they said while the, there were also three uh, wildfires started this week again because of Hamas balloon, fire balloon stuff and everything. So they said, uh, Bennett, publicly, they said, just let us do what we need to do. Yeah. Well, you know, the, uh, what is his name, General Avi Kohani? Yeah, Kohani. Aviv Kohani. Yeah, he's the chief of staff. Uh, he, he's got about a year more left, about a year and a half, I think, or two years left. And he, he, he's well thought of. He really wants to do he's the right good. thing. But you know, it, uh, civilians, civilians call the shots. Military just do what they're told. Yeah, Kojavi's very good. And uh, like you said, about a year, his time is up. And I'll, they'll be doing everything they can to keep him around. Because sometimes they're able to. Yeah, he, he's the one you want to have there if, if, uh, if all hell breaks loose. You know, cause he's he, done a, he's yeah. a good man, really good man. And he's done a lot of good inside the, inside the military, a lot of good change, a lot, a lot of good things. He's a really good guy. Probably a good guy to keep your eye on when he does get out if he decides to go politics. Yeah. He'd probably, probably be a pretty good guy to, be, to, yeah. to back up. Oh, he'd have my vote. Yeah. He'd have my vote. It'd be hard to find a better man. Yeah. The uh, Bennett's administration uh, now is trying to pass a new law now this is this is this is crazy. If seventy percent of the kids aren't vaccinated, they won't open up the school year. Can you imagine that? It's so insane. You know, I, I'm gonna jump countries here a minute. You know, in Australia, <laughs> they got a total lockdown in Australia. Yeah. Total lockdown in Australia. They got about 120 or 130 people like that in ICU. 120, say less than uh, less than 150 people in ICU in the whole country. 
and and they got a mandate to lock the whole well, country down. Well, what about New Zealand? New Zealand this past week went on full lockdown when they only found one sick person, not even not even critical care. One sick person, they put the whole country on lockdown. New Zealand. I, I wonder if something terribly politically is happening here as far as people control was concerned, right? <laughs> you know, once they lock, once they lock, once they get you, uh, once you have to have a pass to get into it. It's an ID. It's, it's a pass. It says I'm okay. I, I'm I'm with you. I'm I'm okay, it, but it doesn't have anything to do with whether you're sick or not. The whole thing is well all all it's past that stage yeah. a long time ago. Now absolutely. we're just talking about total people control. Yep, absolutely. Uh, next thing is moneyless society. Once once they c you they can control your money and where you spend it and know where you spend it and know where you got it and know what you're going to do with it. And once they get to that point with you and you have no cash, you are just, you're, you're, you're a communist at, at that point. You're just a total communist. Yep, yep. The, uh, well, I left this part to the end because it also has to do with Israel and a, and a lot, the whole world and also America, was the, the, the bombing, the terrorist attack at the Kabul airport in Afghanistan. Oh, my. Uh, it's uh, basically, that was just ISIS. They call it ISIS-K, but it's ISIS, uh, showing America that it's not just the Taliban that's back now. We're back too, right? Oh, yeah, we're back. Uh, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're back all right. We're back with Biden. And uh, yeah, uh, so uh, we got a real problem. I, I not, I'm, I've said this before on these, on these shows. Uh, I don't understand how he ever became president. Uh, or Kamala Harris, when she ran for president, she got less than 1% of the Democrat vote. And uh, yeah. now she's the vice president. You, you know, if, if you can't, if, if somebody has to, if, if, if somebody has to tell tell you that there's something really, really spiritually happening that the God's really upset with this. this uh, yep. You need to get back into the Word. Yeah, absolutely. I'll tell you something that I thought was very interesting. I watch uh, three different news. I watch one when it's while it's live, and I record the other two, and then I skim through them before this news section. And one of them is this, the, the leftist, left-wing news organization in Israel. They, I mean, they're all far left. And it, it, they, even them, they had a special this week. It was actually last night on Giuliani. And, uh, and they actually sent one of their reporters to Washington to sit down and talk with them. And uh, talking about how he, show, showing how he had all this proof about how Bi uh, Biden actually lost the election and all this other stuff that, uh, that Biden, horrible things about Biden. And, uh, and this is the left wing, okay, of Israel. And they were just basically saying, like, we, we, you know, we need to support this guy any way he can. He's a good guy. <laughs> that's the left, that's our left wing. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I thought that was nice. Yeah, it is nice. Yeah. Well, that's about it for this week. Don't forget to join us on thegoldenreport.com. Shabbat, Shabbat, Shabbat Shalom.